Hey everybody, Fidel here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of maggot farming. Now I know what you're thinking maggots, really? But trust me, there's a lot more to these little critters than meets the eye. We're talking about a sustainable, profitable way to turn organic waste into valuable resources. That's right, maggot farming isn't just good for the environment, it can also be good for your wallet. Over the next 20 chapters, we'll break down everything you need to know about building a successful maggot farm. So buckle up, get ready to learn something new, and maybe even get your hands a little dirty. Let's get started. First things first, you gotta choose the right maggot for the job. It's like picking a team, you don't want a bunch of bench warmers, you want the MVPs of the maggot world. We're talking about the black soldier fly larvae. These little guys are like the Michael Jordans of the insect world when it comes to breaking down waste. Why are they so special? Well, unlike some of their smellier cousins, black soldier fly larvae aren't interested in your picnic basket or your dog's leftovers. They're all about that waste life, the stuff we'd normally just throw away. They grow fast, they're easy to manage, and they produce a high yield, which translates to more profit for you. So, yeah, for the best maggot farm, you gotta go with the black soldier fly larvae. They're the goats. Now that you've got your star players, you gotta build them the ultimate training facility, a maggot paradise. Don't worry, we're not talking about anything fancy. These little guys are pretty low maintenance. The key is to think like a larva. They need a warm, humid environment, kind of like a tropical vacation spot. Think around 80 degrees Fahrenheit and about 60% humidity. You can achieve this with simple setups like greenhouses or even just a well-ventilated shed. Remember, these guys are eating machines, so you need good airflow to keep things from getting too funky. Okay, so you've got the stadium, now you need the players. We're talking about sourcing your black soldier fly eggs, and trust me, you don't want to just scoop some up from your compost bin. You want to make sure your maggot team is coming from a reputable source. Luckily, there are plenty of online suppliers who specialize in black soldier fly eggs. Look for suppliers with good reviews and healthy, vigorous larvae. All right, time to set the mood for some maggot romance. Don't worry, it's not as weird as it sounds. To get those valuable eggs, you gotta create the perfect love shack for your adult flies. Think of it like a honeymoon suite, but for insects, you'll need a separate enclosure with plenty of light, warmth, and a little bit of moisture. A simple misting system works wonders here. And here's a fun fact. Black soldier flies are pretty chill with humans. They don't bite or sting, and they're good at keeping other pesky insects away. Now for the fun part, feeding time at the maggot farm. Remember how we talked about those black soldier fly larvae being eating machines? Well, now it's time to unleash them on a buffet of organic waste. They thrive on nitrogen-rich waste like fruit and vegetable scraps, coffee grounds, and even brewery waste. Think of it like this. You wouldn't fuel up your sports car with cheap gas, would you? Same goes for your maggots. Give them high-quality food and they'll reward you with rapid growth and valuable byproducts. All right, so you've got your maggot buffet all set up, but hold your horses. Feeding time at the maggot farm is a carefully orchestrated dance, not a free-for-all. These little guys are eating machines, but they're also pretty sensitive to overcrowding and changes in their environment. Overfeeding can lead to a stinky mess, and trust me, that's not a smell you want lingering around. The key is to start small and gradually increase the amount of food you provide as your colony grows. Chapter 7. Cleanliness is next to maggotliness. Now I know what you're thinking, maggots and hygiene don't exactly go hand in hand. But trust me, maintaining a clean and sanitary maggot farm is crucial for the health of your larvae and the success of your operation. Think of it like this. A clean gym means fewer germs, which means healthier athletes. The same goes for your maggots. Regularly remove any uneaten food and make sure their bedding stays dry and well ventilated. A little bit of effort goes a long way in preventing disease and keeping your maggots happy and healthy. Chapter 8 Waste Warriors Maggots to the Rescue Here's where things get really interesting. Maggots aren't just eating machines, they're also waste management superheroes. As they munch their way through your organic waste, they're converting it into valuable resources. We're talking about nutrient-rich compost and frass, 
which is a fancy word for insect poop. Maggot poop is basically gardening gold. Chapter 9. Harvest Time. Reaping the Rewards. After weeks of pampering your maggots, it's time to reap the rewards of your hard work, harvesting those plump, juicy larvae. Black soldier fly larvae are self-harvesting. They'll instinctively crawl out of their food source when they're ready to pupate. All you have to do is set up a collection container like a bucket or a bin and let them do their thing. It's like they're walking themselves right into your harvesting container. Congratulations, you've got yourself a bucket full of wriggling protein. But before you can sell them, you need to process them properly. The most common method is to simply freeze the larvae. This humanely euthanizes them and preserves their nutritional value. Once frozen, you can sell them whole or further process them into things like maggot meal or oil. Think of it like preparing a gourmet meal. You gotta handle your ingredients with care to ensure the highest quality product. All right, you've got your finished product. Now it's time to package it up and ship it out. Just like any food product, proper packaging and storage are essential for maintaining the quality and freshness of your maggots. Vacuum sealing is a great option for long-term storage as it removes any oxygen that could cause spoilage. And when it comes to labeling, be sure to include all the important information like the species, weight, and storage instructions. Now you might be wondering who's buying all these maggots? Well, the answer might surprise you. The market for insect protein is booming, and maggots are quickly becoming a popular choice for a variety of industries. We're talking about everything from animal feed to fish bait to even human consumption. So whether you're looking to sell your maggots locally or tap into the global market, there's a world of opportunity out there. All right, let's talk money. Maggot farming can be a surprisingly profitable business, especially as the demand for insect protein continues to grow. With a little bit of hard work and a whole lot of maggots, you could be looking at a healthy return on your investment. Now, before you go quitting your day job and starting a maggot empire, it's important to familiarize yourself with the legal regulations surrounding insect farming. These regulations vary depending on where you live. So be sure to do your research and obtain any necessary permits before you get started. Here's a fun fact for you. Maggot farming isn't just good for your wallet, it's also good for the planet. These little critters are actually environmental heroes in disguise. By converting organic waste into valuable resources, they're helping to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, conserve water, and minimize our reliance on chemical fertilizers. from maggots to muscles boosting animal feed. The animal feed industry is one of the biggest players in the game. Maggot meal is a highly nutritious and sustainable alternative to traditional protein sources like soy and fish meal. So whether you're raising chickens, pigs, or fish, adding maggot meal to their diet can lead to healthier animals and a more sustainable farming operation. Hook, line, and maggot, the perfect fish bait. If you're an angler, you know that finding the right bait can make all the difference. And let me tell you, maggots are like the caviar of the fishing world. Their wriggling movements and strong odor are irresistible to fish, making them the perfect bait for a variety of species. So next time you're heading out to the lake, ditch the artificial lures and try baiting your hook with some live maggots. Chapter 18, Black Gold Maggots and the Magic of Composting. These little guys can turn your kitchen scraps into nutrient-rich compost in a fraction of the time it takes traditional composting methods. And because they break down organic matter so efficiently, they actually help to reduce the odor and pest problems often associated with composting. Chapter 19, Every Rose Has Its Thorn Challenges of Maggot Farming. Like any other type of farming, maggot farming requires patience, dedication, and a willingness to learn. You'll need to overcome challenges like maintaining optimal environmental conditions, preventing disease, and finding reliable markets for your product. Chapter 20. The future is crawling trends in maggot farming. The future of maggot farming is looking bright. As the world grapples with the challenges of climate change and food security, 
Insect protein is emerging as a sustainable and viable solution. We're seeing exciting advancements in areas like automated maggot farming systems, vertical farming techniques, and the development of new and innovative maggot-based products. Outro, thanks for visiting Fidel's Maggot Farm. Well, there you have it, folks. We've covered everything from A to Z on how to build a successful and profitable maggot farm. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of maggot farming, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And as always, thanks for watching.